we're headed now? This stuff with performance readiness. And I, I really like to think of this as sort of the magic of the model. It, everyone I know that we've worked with over the years, if you get really good at doing this stuff, if you will, with performance readiness, taking a second or two to think it on out, uh, it, it increases your accuracy but in degree with everything that you're going to do hereafter. So, I mean, everything with the style, the how you respond to the thing, the critical determinant of success is how well we diagnose readiness. Fun analogy a doctor gave us, uh, one of the large re cancer research centers, he said it's amazing, that he found it amazing that you spend probably about 95% of your time on procedures in medical school and less than 5% on diagnosing. And then he laughed and he goes, so that means we can cut off your arm with precision. Might not have had to, but we can cut it off with precision. And I've kind of pulled that one right back into the management world. We do so much on the how to delegate, how to coach, how to build a team, how to pro manage a project. We do so much on the action part and never sitting down and slowing down that little thinking a little bit about, and which of those things do I do when and use when? Of all of the things, and believe me, I've got docs been monumental in my life, and I have them on a pedestal for a whole lot of reasons, professional and personal. But when I look back of what his contribution gigantically is to this field, uh, he's the, the first one that had all of these things with the leader behavior all being predicated on the basis of when and who to use them with. You know, just look at that follower, look at the person you're attempting to influence and figure out what their performance needs are before you jump into the action. That's what this morning's gonna, the rest of the morning is going to be about, taking a look at those performance needs. They alter, they modify, they change, big time. In fact, we're going to use this term several times, and I hope you can kind of grab onto this one. Readiness is dynamic. We're going to name that as one of the goals that we want, one of the objectives for this area. Of everything we can write about readiness, that's the one thing we can put down in writing. But for my money, I don't think we can get you thoroughly enough to see th what th the significance of that, I mean, just by writing it down. Readiness is dynamic. It changes, it changes, it changes. A conversation can alter it. Fender bender on the way in this morning. Getting up on the wrong side of bed. Somebody you work with getting up on the wrong side of bed and coming in can change your readiness. Finding out who you're going to work on a project can change your readiness. It's dynamic. 